Hello and welcome. My name is Sunshine Amos, the CEO and Project Manager, Sunshine Resources. In today's video, I'm going to share with you how to start a production business. In this video, I'm going to take you to the rudiments of how to start a production business. And so if you're new to this channel, I suggest you hit the subscription button so that you get posted of all our videos and resources each time we upload them to our channel. Now, production business is a specialized kind of business. It is not the regular buying and selling where you go to the market or to the warehouse and buy commodities at wholesale price, bring them to the shop or to your kiosk and sell them at retail price to make profit. This is the regular kind of business that everybody is familiar with. In this kind of business type, you do not need any specialized skills to do it. It is generally called buying and selling and virtually everybody can do it. But in a production business, you will require some specialized skills of how to bring the various raw materials together through measurement using the right method and processes to be able to manufacture or produce the commodity before selling it to the consumers. Now let's look at the things you will require in a production business. The first thing you will require in a production business is that specialized skill of how to produce or manufacture the product. You need to acquire the skill of how to manufacture or produce the product you want to sell. Okay, this is very important. It is not just acquiring of the skill, but since you want to go into the business, you must therefore acquire the skill of how to produce good quality product that can compete with those in the market and that can give you profit. This is very essential, I must say. Now, in this presentation, I'm going to use soap as a case study of the commodity we're going to be talking about. Now, I'm using soap because soap is a very important commodity, it's an essential commodity. There is no community of human beings in this world that does not require soap. Soap makes our body, our environment and our world very clean. During the pandemic, one commodity that about 7 billion people in the world was using almost at every second of the day apart from hand sanitizer was soap. Economists will refer to the demand of soap as perfectly inelastic. This is because even if the price goes up, people will still buy it. And so we're going to use soap as a case study in this presentation. If as an intending producer and you want to go into the production of soap, the first thing you are expected to do is to acquire the skill of how to manufacture good quality soap. And so now here comes the next question. Where are you going to get the skills from? Now, if you go to the best chemistry textbooks or chemical engineering textbooks or applied chemistry textbooks, this is what you will see. Soaps are sodium or potassium salt of alkanoic acid found in fat and oil. The process of preparing soap is called saponification. It is a hydrolysis kind of reaction. A typical soap molecule has hydrophobic tail and hydrophilic head and you will be introduced to the structure of soap molecule. At the end of the day, you are so knowledgeable about soap but you do not know how to manufacture soap. Now the big question now is that what have they taught you? And of what benefit is the knowledge that they have given you so far about soap? Now the same thing goes with even those that study pharmacy as they do not know how to manufacture any drug. They tell you paracetamol is an analgesic. Analgesic are painkillers. They contain active compound called acetaminophen. Acetaminophen is soluble in the alimentary canal of man. And so at the end of the day, the pharmacist is so knowledgeable, but he doesn't know how to manufacture any drug. Let me even shock you or surprise you with this short story. My cousin studied electrical electronic engineering from the polytechnic. And so one Saturday morning, he was pressing his clothes and all of a sudden, the electric iron went off. He thought the problem was from the socket and so he moved to another socket and still find the same problem. And he drew my attention to the problem because he was actually a visitor in the house. And so when I got there, I confirmed that it was like the electric iron has fault. And so ordinarily, as an electrical electronic engineer, I was expecting him to ask for a screwdriver or something in order to check what was wrong with the electric iron. But do you know that he dropped the iron and left? 
and so I pick up the electric ion and reach out to a screwdriver. I dismantle the electric ion and reach out to the circuit. On getting to the circuit, I discover that one of the wire terminals was disconnected from the main board and I then fix it back. Couple the electric ion back and I ask him to come and pick it up. Now the electric ion is an electrical appliance that has the simplest electric circuit. It has a heating metal and a thermostat. The thermostat is the only complicated part of the electric ion as it consists of a thermal metal that expands and contracts upon absorption of heat. The behavior of my cousin toward the electric ion dropped a lasting impression in my heart. This guy must have studied an electrical electronic nonsense. That was how I felt. So what am I saying? Skills are not found in schools. Our education was not structured to give you skills that would make you an entrepreneur. We need to understand this. But we are still under the deception of education. You therefore need to look out for where you will get your skill of how to manufacture your soap. This is very important. That was what gave birth to Sunshine Resources. And I know some people will say that, oh, Mr. Sunshine, you're doing this because you studied chemistry. Now, let me put a disclaimer here. The skills I teach on our YouTube channel, I did not acquire them from the university. The first person who taught me how to make yogurt was an illiterate. And he asked me to pay 40,000 naira. That was then in 1986, just a year after I left the university. Most of the people who taught me these skills were illiterate. But when I saw the agility and the ease with which they mix chemicals and call their names and make use of them, I knew I was miseducated. And that was the reason why we came up with this channel, Free of Charge. In life, we know that before you make a change, you must make sacrifices. And so to learn how to make soap, you have to visit our YouTube channel, pick up a video that you want. Let's say you want to learn how to make liquid soap. Let me use this moment to show you how to use our resources. Now, just like I said earlier, if you want to learn any of our products, say liquid soap, all you have to do is to get to the YouTube channel. The link is on the screen and I've dropped it also in the description box below this video. While on the YouTube channel, click on any video you want, say how to make liquid soap and then start watching the video. You can even download the video if you want. As you are watching the video, please get a pen and a paper and note down very important part of the information. For example, names of chemicals and particularly the measurement. This is very important. Now, if you cannot write down, you can get our ebook and um, go to the ebook. Now, I've dropped a link to accessing our ebook in the description box below this video, or you can simply send a WhatsApp message to the number shown on your screen right now. Now, when you get your note, either the one you made yourself or from the ebook, you need to study the note for about three days. Okay, this is very important. Just the way you read for your WIKE examination. Nobody's going to ask you any question, but it is important that you have to study this note for about three days. Keep studying the names and learning about the measurement. Now, after that, you can go to the chemical shop, get the materials and try it out by yourself. Production is like learning any other kind of skill. For example, how to dance or how to drive. Your first production may not be good, but that was a trial and it's good for you. The more practice you do, the more you become perfect. Get acquainted to measurement. Measurement is a very important aspect of production. Let's talk more about skills. Now, skills are a template through which your gift or talent manifest. Your creative potential is evident if you have a skill. When you acquire a skill, it drops the entrepreneurial spirit in you. So, if you have thought how to manufacture a car, if you don't have the resources or means to manufacture real car, there is this propelling force that will push you to manufacture toy car for children and that is a product you have created. This is what skills do to you if you have them. It controls and rules your creative potential. Anyone that has a skill will desire to be creative. So if you want to be creative, feed yourself with skills. If you want to test your creative potential, feed yourself with skills. Now skills are very expensive out there. I went to buy some chemicals for making paints and I saw some new chemicals and I asked the shop attendant to explain to me how to use them. Do you know she said I should pay for the explanation? Skills are expensive. Now, do you know that some soap manufacturing industries hide the soap formula from their staff? It is usually a top secret. Now, go to a soap factory and ask 
some of the staff how the soap is made, you will be amazed when they tell you that they don't have any idea. Not because they don't want to tell you, but they could be right, they don't have any idea because soap manufacturers hide their formula from their staff. Because they know that if the staff acquire the formula, they would be like them. Because they know that if the staff have the formula, they would definitely resign and be like them. And so they will try as much as they can to hide the formula from the staff. Now, apart from the fact that they hide the formula from their staff and workers, they also hide their history from the public. They never want anybody to know how they started. Most of the big time manufacturing companies you see today started from their backyard. They started the manufacturing with their hands at home. And they went through the process of growth and development through technology. Now, listen to this. Handmade manufacturing came before machine took over. As a matter of fact, machines were developed from inside, gained from handmade manufacturing. Machines did not just emanate. Somebody saw a process first and then gained insight before inventing a machine that can run the process. When you visit a manufacturing company today and you see an array of sophisticated machines, you will be forced to ask yourself, where can I get resources to assemble such a machine? You do not have to start that way. Start with the little you have today and you will also grow through stages just like they did. Now I also want you to know that production business is a very tasking exercise, especially if you are not a trained scientist. But make sure you have a passion for it. Now just like I said earlier, when you acquire production skills, your creative and innovative abilities are enabled. Make sure you use them. Sometimes it requires some experimentation. Branding of products are formed through experimentation. And now my final words. Now, if you go to the market, you will find so many products there. Desire that your product should be among them one day. Remember, that phone you are so crazy about is someone's product. That car that you are so crazy about, you save all your lifetime earning to buy it, is someone's product. I rather advise you to save money to enable you to create your own product than to buy someone's product. Now, any commodity that you find in the market or anywhere, no matter how simple or sophisticated it may be, it is created and produced by a human being like you. Desire to create your own product. This is the best advice anyone will give you in a lifetime. So thank you very much for watching and God bless you. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can visit our website on www.sunshineresources.org.ng You can visit our YouTube channel on youtube.com forward slash c forward slash sunshine resources SRTV. You can also follow us on our Facebook page on Sunshine Resources. Thank you very much for watching and God bless you.